Hey guys, for this week's adventure, we will be traveling from the mountains of Honduras to St. Joseph, Missouri tomorrow. I hope I get a good night's sleep because it's up at 4.30, uh, the taxi comes at 5.30, uh, the bus leaves uh, here for Tegucigalpa at 6. It's a four-hour bus ride of uh, not the most comfortable bus uh, in the world. And then, of course, all the uh, checking in and the, the airline stuff and Let's see, Tegucigalpa to Houston, and then Houston on to Kansas City, and then Kansas City to St. Joe. So it'll be a long day, and um, hope you come along and enjoy the ride. waiting to get an antigen COVID test. All right, some of the essentials to be taking on the trip. Here's a trusty backpack that's been with me for years. Here's my Sea to Summit neck pillow. Essential, life-saving, yes. Nature Valley granola bars, nuts, Pedialyte. Pedialyte has saved my life. Flashlight, headlight, American money, Honduran money, face masks, passport, of course, wipes. Never leave home without them. I'm telling you. Charger stuff, latex gloves. That's not everything I've got, but, you know, that's kind of some of the essentials. Yeah? Okay. Get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. You ready to go? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we'll have just a little bit of coffee before we go. Here we are at the bus station in La Esperanza, getting ready to board the big bus right there. We are pulling out of the station and driving by the biggest market in town where these workers arrive at about 4.30 in the morning to put out their vegetables for the day. The neck pillow is awfully nice. Here we're coming out of Siguatepeque in the winding mountainous roads heading downward in altitude, heading toward Comeagua. This is Comeagua, and we are about ready to be slowed down by a small herd of cattle in the road. Here we've stopped at the bus stop in Comeagua, having passengers get off and others come on. And people like this guy here in the orange selling food and drinks, and this guy is selling uh, breakfast. Looks like the combo meal. The reason not to drink much coffee before you go or to have Pedialyte is because there are no restrooms along the way and so you don't want to have those issues and you also get a little dehydrated in the journey. Here we are pulling into the downtown area of Tegucigalpa which is one of the most dangerous parts of town. Here I am waiting for the taxi and we have uh, scheduled a safe taxi to come and get me.
Here I am walking up to the Aeropuerto in Tegucigalpa, Toncontin Airport. Here's the ticket lines, which you all are very familiar with. And Expresso Americano. This is a franchise in Honduras, or I don't know, maybe Central America. They are very good, and they got very good coffee. Of course, we're on board the plane now, waiting for people to come on in and sit down. Thumbs up. Well, with Global Entry, known traveler card, I was out of customs in a matter of minutes. Well guys, I finally made it back to Northwest Missouri. Uh, I got to bed about two o'clock this morning, so in the last two or three days, I haven't had much sleep. Um, it really was a good trip, all in all. And uh, being back, it's just, it's been really nice. I spent the morning with uh, mom and dad and more with dad, having just, just talking. And uh, this afternoon with uh, Sheriff Pewitt uh, here in Buchanan County. What a great friend and a wonderful guy. and. Uh, Pastor Doug. Um, I kind of don't let myself miss people and miss things. I kind of just don't let myself do that. And then I come back and I realize how much I missed them. So friends and family are nice. I enjoy the, um, the challenge of living in the mountains of Honduras. I enjoy it very much. But I also I like my hometown of St. Joseph, Missouri, and my friends and family, too. So, anyway, you know what? It's just the way it goes. So, I think I need more coffee. My, my eyes are at half mass, but uh, it's been a good day, and um, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Dr. Wade Hampton, and you have a great day. I guess the moral of the story is when you find somebody who will stay with you through the hard times, be sure to cherish that person because that's rare and special and that's a really good thing, right? Yeah, thank you, my love. <laughs> I'm Dr. Wade Hampton with the amazing Miss Edna Portillo and you have a great day. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> I go without me with the phone.